This tower is 146 meters high. Inside of this concrete tower, uh, there is a steel tube with an elevation of uh, about 110 meters and we drop the experiments from 110 meters to the ground. This takes about 4.5 seconds, so this is actually the experiment time. If we have experiments that need longer times, we are now able not only to drop the capsule from the tip of the tower, but to throw it upwards from the lower end of the tower and use the length of the tower twice during the way up and its fall back to the ground. If you would be inside of the capsule, you would not feel the capsule to become slower at the end and turning and accelerating again, because without any acceleration, you would feel microgravity until the deceleration starts. So the reason for a drop tower is to achieve microgravity conditions on ground within the gravitational field of Earth. So now we are underneath uh, the drop tower. What we see here is uh, the catapult machine. We have to accelerate the, the, the experiments within the capsules with a mass of up to 500 kilogram within a very short time. So therefore we need a very strong catapult accelerating with about 30 times the Earth gravitation uh, to 170 kilometers within 0.2 seconds. So this is happening very rapidly. So this is uh, the control room of the drop tower. So we call it our tiny little Houston control. What we see are uh, different uh, images from inside of the drop tube. Uh, down left we see um, a view from the tip of the tower, from the top of the tower, down to the deceleration area. Mm -hmm. And actually in the center you can see the drop capsule of today, which is on the catapult post and is not already charged. So within the next minutes it will be pulled down to the, uh, to the launch position. I see. And uh, at the lower end you see the edge of the deceleration container. So when the capsule is on its way up to the top of the tower and falling back, this deceleration container is released and will swing underneath the tube and catch the capsule. Okay. Experiment might happen within the next few seconds. You see that the operator is pushing a button, opening the window for the experimenter to do to initiate the experiment whenever ready. That's always a rather exciting moment, even though everything is then done within seconds. Now you see it going. Container moves. Capsule is falling back. Hitting the container, everything was fine. <laughs> so we saw the, the capsule coming out of the of the hole of the catapult hole. Capsule that's always very exciting because yeah. the, the, the diameter of the capsule is almost the same as the hole where it comes out. So it's a very narrow gap. And uh, then we saw it running to the top of the tower, and it's approaching the upper end for about one or one and a half meters. So it's going very closely to the to the real end, and then turning back. And in this case, we saw this um, this collection of, of tiny particles that the camera was videoing. And then, as soon as the um, experiment was launched, they were all moving around. Yeah. And it's that movement that they'll be analysing, I suppose. You should ask the experimenter how they evaluate it. I, I don't know how to evaluate that. <laughs> <laughs> it looked rather chaotic, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah. Now we uh, lift off the main entrance into the vacuum container. Uh, now the hydraulic system pushes the door off the ceiling and then the door is lifted up and then the bridge is released and we can enter it. The deceleration of the experiment, of course we do not want to destruct the experiment because we want to drop it uh, many times. 
Um, it is uh, landing in a uh, big container filled with polystyrene grain, polystyrene pellets, three to five millimeter, very small pellets. And this serves for gentle deceleration. Gentle means 35G, which is, would be quite hard for us, but for the experiment, it's no problem. Uh, there is a lot of polystyrene grain on the rear side and due to uh, electrostatic forces sticking to the cover and this needs to be blown away. Actually we are not allowed to drop a capsule in air because uh, the electrostatic sparks would be that strong that it would immediately be uh, uh, inflamed or yeah. burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if this starts burning, uh, it will be hard to extinguish yeah. because there's a lot of gas in. It's, it's practically impossible. Now you see the container is going off. Does it ever go wrong? <laughs> Actually, at the, at the very beginning of our drop tower operation, we had an, a, a failure, which was not uh, that the deceleration didn't work properly, but the deceleration container uh, should be underneath. Uh, the drop line mm. and it wasn't at that time. <laughs> Isn't that quite fundamental? Yeah, that, that was a basic mistake at the very beginning. So what happened? Yeah, what, what shall happen? We smashed the experiment. <laughs>